Hey everybody, it is I, Mr. Skids, and welcome to The Stanley Parable. Now, you guys are probably wondering why I keep picking games from 2014. That's because I've been wanting to play these games for that long. Yes, I haven't had a decent computer in many, many years, and then now that I finally am able to actually play these games I want to actually play them with you guys the audience my friends my colleagues my loved ones so let us begin is that ne never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end the end is loading the end is loading is never the end is loading loading never 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 the end it is loading it is very loading it's loading so hard. It's loading so hard. Boop boop ba choop. Boop boop ba choop. This game I think has crashed. Hody ho dee ho dee ho dee. The game has crashed. Hody ho. I think the game has crashed. Oh, I clipped my nail too short. I'm just gonna clip my fingernails. Hey, it's loading. Perfect my manicure. I might as well. Ain't got nothing else to do while the game loads itself to death. Oh, hey, we got frame rate. We got frame rate. Ooh. Ooh, frame rates. Ooh. Eight. <laughs> A whole grand total of eight. <laughs> oh, come on. Please. Ooh. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh. Oh. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was he was um employee employee um number, number, oh number, no number, 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 I think I fucked up oh no oh no oh I fucked up oh I fucked up damn it damn it game why do you do these things to me here we go we're gonna try this again. We're gonna give this another shot and hope to God that it can load properly. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room for two uh, Oh God! No! No! It failed! It all failed! It failed! I'm sorry! God damn it! Let me fucking live my life! Let me live my life! Oh, that mouse sensitivity is a bit weak for me. Ah, that is a bit weak. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Options. Uh, mouse keyboard. Uh, mouse t sensitivity needs to go up. Up, up, up. Mouse acceleration. Yes, we don't want mouse acceleration. I do not want a mouse thing. Holy shit! Uh, that's a bit too much now. Ooh, I'm going to heck be sick if that happens again. I thought, I thought I saw. Oh my good god! Well, others might have considered it so ending. Stanley relished every moment that the others can bear. Why? Why? Oh my god! Why? Why is this doing this? And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. The game stopped Something lagging. Never... This is the story of a man named Stanley. I don't want to know more any more about Stanley. More I've heard this story. Employee number four two seven's job was so simple. he sat at his times. desk in room for. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number four two seven. Employee number four two seven's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job, and Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. 
He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Yay! It finally works! I hate Mondays! Yes, today is actually a Monday, so... Fucking Mondays, right? I know, I know, right? I know, I know, I know. Um... Was I trying to tap the keys board on that? Anyway, it finally works and it looks so good! Um... Unfortunately, I've been wasting- I've, I had to listen to that goddamn intro at least eight or nine times trying to get this game to stop lagging and I figured out the problem so uh there is a bit still of a lag here so I think E is to activate right I'm guessing so all of his co-workers were gone what could it mean Stanley decided to go to the meeting room perhaps he had simply missed a memo Nah, 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 I wanna go back into the thing. Hold on, hold on. There was something I wanted to do, wanted to do. There was something I wanted to do, because I accidentally discovered this. Watch this. Nope, I don't feel like going out. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure beyond any doubt was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Ha! I okay, was reloading itself. Oh! Okay. This game, this game, from what I could tell, is quite. It, it messes with your brain. And if that's any indication. Uh, yeah, it really likes to screw with your brain. Also, I notice a bit, a bit, just a teeny bit of a problem. Ooh! Ooh! Hold on. Ooh, that... The, I think the hiccup's gone now. Man, I cannot catch a break with this. Editing this video is going to be a fucking nightmare, man. It is going to be a fucking nightmare. All right. So, so, so it's not as jagged All as it was. Workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. What you, what, what you, okay, I, I can't zoom in, I can't jump, I can't look at that screen any closer than I already am. I, I wish I knew what he was on, what it said. It looks like it would be something, not imperative, but I would like to know. Hello, I guess I don't have a choice in the matter because I can't go nowhere else. Oh, can I go in here? No. Hello? Voice in my head! What do I do now? Do I set fire to the fucking building? Because that's what usually voices in my head tell me. Normally they Stanley tell me- went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. <laughs> nor did it advance the story in any way. <laughs> hey, get off my back, voice in my head. Oh, I turned it off. Oh, hey, I did a thing. Can I- do that thing again? No. Can I turn? Oh, I am typing on that keyboard. 
Hey, dude. You, you, you don't like me messing with everything? You don't like me just fucking <laughs> touching everything? I, what if I, what if I have OCD and I have to touch everything? What, what about that? What about that? What if I have OCDs? Stanley has OCD, man. Back the hell off. What is that? Awaiting input. Um. Uh. Ooh. Uh. Oh. 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 Uh. Oh. What? What did I do to do that? Hold on. Yeah. Press all. Oh. Press all the keys. P -p do I have to press the keys on the, um... I pressed literally almost every single key on my keyboard and I cannot, cannot figure it out. I can't figure it out, man! What am I supposed to do? Uh... Ah... Uh, there's gotta be some form of secret here, but I don't know what to do. Oh. Why? Oh, oh, I shut it on myself. Okay. Is there anything in there? 457, for... Wait, where was, um... Aha! Insert your own joke here, because I am not doing it. I'm not doing it. Fuck off, I'm not doing it. So, what do we got here? Did everybody escape through the roof? Okay, uh, the, uh, I hate Mondays. All right, so uh, somebody spilled their coffee. They they didn't play that game. Don't spill your coffee very well. Oh hey, what's then going on over there? Nothing. Okay, moving on now. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. What if I say fuck you? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> am I gonna get on your comeuffins? Do I- Am I gonna get on your comeuffins? Should I- I should definitely- Should definitely screw with this guy a bit. <laughs> screw with the voice in my head, cause that's a good idea. 489, 449, 450. Well, oh, I can't go anywhere. Hello! Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I can't get any soda. Yes, I'm drinking. I would really like to be drinking a nice cold drink. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Yes, yes it is. I like, I think it's worth it. Me just sitting here and kind of crouching at around. This point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Oh! Oh! Really now? You're gonna get snide with me, number Stanley one. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But <laughs> when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. That would message would be that you're you 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 getting snide with me? You you un, you don't like me doing these things? Coffee nut. Is there anything else on? Nope. I don't. I don't wanna. Nope. I'm not leaving. Fish it. Yeah. I, I want my cold drink. I will. I'm pro. Look at this. For just a dollar twenty-five, I could have me a cold drink. Now. I don't know about you, but I could use me a cold drink. Also, that clock is, i pretty sure, legitimately moving. I'm pretty Yep. Yep. That minute hand's actually moving. That's legitimately moving. That's not the actual time, but it's legitimately moving. 
Oh, he he's not you're you're not gonna talk anymore there, voice in my head, narrator man. You're not gonna talk anymore? You just gonna piss off now? You are not gonna talk to me because you got you got all so upset and all you got all cranky with me? Fine. But at last he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Hmm. Choices. Choices. Hmm. Should I appease the voice? Nah. Nah. Not appeasing my voice in the head. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Well, I don't like your tone, mister. I don't like your tone. Huh? Oh, this shut. Okay, I guess I can't go back now. Oh, hey, what's going on here? Do not jump from the cargo lift while in motion. We'll cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off cargo lift, $5,000. I could afford it. I can afford it! I can afford it! But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. <laughs> Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Ha <laughs> ah. Oh, that's good. Ooh, that oh. Um. Um. Whoa. Whoa. Why is Wait, it pay? Stanley thought to himself, am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. What? what? The... the the, what was all the paper on the floor? What's with all the paper on the floor? What, what's going on? Now I'm confused. I thought the game would just start over, but it's doing different things now. Oh! 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 I don't know what to do. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Fine, I'll go the way you want me to this time. I'll do it. I'll do as I'm told. I'm Stanley, and I don't know how to not listen to voices in my head. What is in here? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I wasn't paying attention, but I heard something about boss office. Weekly review. What to do about 432. Wait, I'm 127, right? So let me say, see. Uh, is there anything about... Don't tell 432 about me, my meeting. Uh, termination Tuesdays. Legal bosses inspection. We're broke. We're broke Wednesdays. Marking mon marketing Mondays, mergers, pranking floors, floor five meeting. <laughs> Poor floor five. What the hell did floor five do to deserve such a such a such a beating? Eat eight bird. Uh, this box is too small. Yes, it is. It's very small. Pre review of weekend review. Office party. Woo! Office party. I can't wait to go see the go to the office party. Um, cause they there's a oh Elizabeth gets really really drunk and she's really really easy. So maybe I can get with Elizabeth. Who moved my desk? Who moved my desk? I will fucking murder you in your sleep. Please keep the f targets on topic of. Blah, blah, blah. Um, paper. Hire somebody to fire the paper guy. Uh, papers are too synergized. Uh, <laughs> push for funding our RD coffee machine. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Synergies papers. Hire someone to synergize papers. Papers are too synergized. Fire pa paper guy. <laughs> Hire somebody to fire the paper synergizing guy. <laughs> okay, I read that backwards because I'm not, I'm almost dyslexic. Almost. Not quite. The future was yesterday. Tomorrow is now. Okay. Tomorrow, complete today's unfinished agenda. Items, 
right next day's agenda. These people don't know. I, I don't know. These people are so smart. I don't even understand what's going on. Let's see, a uh, lot of... We got a lot of percentages. Teenagers. Size of demographics. Space between the teenagers. Throw something in the ideas bin. No more bin. Renaming the idea. Firing of people. Fire everyone. Work harder. Hard worker. Uh, what do you people want? Things. Money. More money. Things, but with money. But to buy more things. Graphics. Graphics. Gr graphs. We want graphs. Graphs about things and money. We have our new product. We have it. We got an idea. Pie. There's a pie on that pie. Cool. Can I have? I have n no um no thing. Also, my I forgot to turn off my friend thing. One moment, please. Sorry about that. Here I am again. Tips for not getting fired. Talk less. Do unbelievably amazing work all the time, every day, with no expe expectations of promotion or recognition. Don't get fired. How to solve a dispute with a co-worker. Let it ball up inside you. Take it out passive-aggressive on other work co-workers. Resent co-workers for not supporting you more. And then just do uh, using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Oh, good. Everything is okay. I'm glad that everything is okay. Everyone is unique. You most of all. Oh, thank you, Slide. Thank you, Slide. I'm glad you uh, you call me unique because I am awesome. Number of the slides on the slide charts with slide charts. I can't take this anymore. I must leave now. I cannot read. Broom closet. This is where the guy got stuck. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. But I don't... But... How do you know? That monkey wrench might come in handy. Also, that kind of looks like... There was like nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Shh. I do what I want. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is... He's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> but I want to sit in the fucking bucket. You can't jump. Oh, are my you, God. Are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. <laughs> I, I just want to say I got an achievement because I kept pressing the space bar to jump, but it couldn't jump. You so you realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally <laughs> this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never but, would have thought to mention it. But I, I like irritating you. It makes my day brighter. Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The <laughs> broom closet ending was my favorite. <gasps> I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. <laughs> you got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Oh, God. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. 
so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. My oh, face hurts. My face hurts because I'm smiling so much. Oh, good God. I didn't think this game was going to be this amazing. Okay. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. <laughs> I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna burst. This game's gonna kill me. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. Oh my god. This game is just a 100. It's getting my recommendation 110%. Oh, what do we got? Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh! I don't have the key for the executive bathroom, man. God damn it. Is there anything on the computer? Oh, hey, what's that? What's that? What's that? Pencils. What's that? Ooh. Business Time Magazine. Cool. Uh, is there anything? I, nope. And nope. And. I like that. Every time I press E, it makes a typey sound. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Oh. Two, eight, Four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Two, eight, four, five. Two, eight, four, five. Two, eight, four, five. Also, um, that's the that's the thumbnail for the game. When you have the game on your two, eight. Stanley four, just sat around twiddling his thumbs, trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was two, eight, four, five. <laughs> Yes, that's the thumbnail for the game, by the way. Two, eight, four, five. So, two, two eight. eight, four, five. <laughs> two, two, <laughs> um. Step forgot, but it turns out that the final's emergency override kicked in. And the door just opened all by itself. And Oops. Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, <laughs> whoop de do. <laughs> oh, you accidentally skipped some dialogue, but that, uh, okay, that, that's interesting. Oh, alrighty then. Um, <laughs> this, this announcer guy has got quite the fucking voice on him. I love him. Uh, I'm gonna hide in a dark shadow. Eh. You can't see me, I'm the grounder, man. So I'm gonna go down, go down, down into the depths of hell. Hell, 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 hell. Oh, hey, it's loading. 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 Oh, it's not loading. into the building. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Oh, you say that, so you say. Also, give me a moment. Uh, oh, okay, everything, is, oh. Closed captioning, subtitles. I was supposed to have subtitles on. I forgot to have subtitles on. God damn it. I'm an idiot, but that's okay. That's okay, because I'm just too plain dumb. Anyway, that's all the time I got for now. I thank you guys for joining me, and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Tune in for more Sunday!